one also captures you. At this point, I'm just yelling, hey, 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 man, hey. Just here to look, take a look around is what I'm trying to yell anyway. They sort of pick you up, both of them, and they throw you outside. <laughs> However, while you're in there, give, give me an alertness perception. My alertness perception is five on this roll. Well. So you basically notice nothing. You could spend six yeah. plot points to notice something. Nope. <laughs> okay. But plot. So you notice uh, nothing of your time there other than it's a bar? Yeah. I didn't get hurt. Oh, that's a relief. Oh, no, you did get hurt. Uh, you did get hurt. You did get hurt. Got an eye Let me out. calculate the damage. How much life do you have? Uh, shoot, that's... Life is body plus willpower. Yeah, I have 18 health. Like, so you oh, take a total of 7 points of damage. Alright, so I've got 11 out of 18 left. Oh, man. So yeah, while you're arguing with this, with the, with the bouncer, several seconds later, you see Pitapoff, you see Caesar being thrown out. No, Caesar! I was like, oh, well, there he is. Well, okay, fine, we'll come back later with the warrant. I watch extremely apathetically, <laughs> kind of laughing. How dare you throw my comrade out there, you jerk. With an S. <laughs> and what are you going to do about it? I'm gonna... Little, uh, little man. Little man. Hey, I may be little, but I'm strong on the inside. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, as I pick myself up, I just kind of check my, check my injuries, I guess. But then the, the bouncer, he sympathizes with the big on the inside thing. He's like, man, I was bullied <laughs> as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. And then he lets us in. Plot points. Get your plot points, everyone. Yes. <laughs> we can make this I mean, you could spend plot points. It's up to you. Can I? How much would it be to make him smaller? <laughs> to make him like a wimpier bodyguard. Yeah. Four plot points. Mm, nah. How much would it be to just tell him to let us in? Like he just randomly decides to let you in. Yeah. <laughs> Twelve plot, plot points. points? How many plot points would it make it to make him really sensitive? And if I called him the bad name, he would start crying. <laughs> Six plot points. Yes! I'll do it! Six plot points. You're spending six plot points for this? Really? What? I mean... Please don't. He threw out Caesar. That's just rude. Yeah, but you can't do meta things for in-character things. <laughs> Like, you can't call him a bad name without having plot powers to make him sad. <laughs> it'll, it'll, it might even just make him, like, maybe if we all do it, then it'll make him sad. I don't know. Oh, maybe Daddy I wrote down in this character sheet anyway that he's really sensitive to being Daddy called issues. Daddy issues. <laughs> <laughs> Performance you issues. The, guys, you, the guy you guys are talking to isn't even the person who threw me out. I was thrown out by the other goons inside. Yeah. You goons are all goony. That's my insult. I wrote anyway, it down. can I try and use my first aid skill just to help myself a little bit? Yeah, you can manage yourself a bit. I just remember, first aid isn't as powerful in this game as it is in most games. That's fine. Ah, oh, here we are. The way first aid works, yeah. you cannot do first aid to recover your character. That, However, that, the way first aid works, if you take more damage than your life and you're bleeding out and dying, first aid lets you stop your character from dying. It oh, stabilizes oh. you. Alright. So I assume to like heal my health points, I would just have to do like in-universe things, like find a bandage and heal Sleep. over time. Yeah, Stuff there's like a that. there's a natural recovery time. Every hour of rest or two hours of activity, you recover one point of stun damage. You currently have seven points of stun damage. Alright. If you get too much, you die, and or... No. Okay, the way it works. Once you've overflowed your stun damage, you begin taking wounds. Oh, okay. Once okay. you get wounds equal to your stun, then you die. Okay. So, but so it's, it's wounds... basically it's as if our life was twice, but yes. it's not as bad for the uh, first time. Okay. Yes. All right. Got it. And wounds take a lot to recover. They're very difficult to recover. But if you have first aid, they're not as difficult to recover. And you can use second wind. 
second wind once per day you can roll either body or willpower and instantly recover that many stun damage all right so you could recover instantly if you'd like and you roll a seven uh, no thank you yet uh <laughs> okay so what are you guys up to why don't we just Stick. not do this do what try to get in this place well not now yeah, so as basically what I'd be doing is that I'd be helping him up while saying that, all right, so we know where we're going, we know what's up. We'll return tomorrow um, with a warrant. Right, and, uh, that's good. <laughs> and he says, yeah. and I'm sure you'll find exactly what you're looking for. Looking forward to that. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Everybody uh, will learn just... this sense motive. What broad skill is sense motive oh, yeah. under? Perception. I got my maximum possible thing of ten. I got I, I got four. a nine. Uh, I got a ten as well. You could you could spend a plot. Valkal can't sadly because he has a thing. Uh, I will spend a point. Okay. Are we getting? You can tell that this guy is basically strongly indicating that because of what just happened, everyone's going to know. The cops are showing up tomorrow with a warrant. So you're not going to find anything you want to find there. Great. Hmm. You can you can inform the other people of this or keep it to yourself. I think I'll inform them. You know, you know, keep the team informed. Hey, team. <laughs> we, uh, what she said. Mysterious voice. <clears throat> from the booming from the heavens. <laughs> Let's stake out during the night. Or something. Yeah, it's like me. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, now, so, of course, with the warrant, we won't find what we want, but doesn't stop the fact that somewhere, somehow, you know, they're supposed to be receiving something tomorrow. It has to still come at some point. Listen, why don't we check out the back? There's a back? Buildings have a back. No, this building only has a front. <laughs> it is a two-dimensional building. Throughout the horizon. This is a two-dimensional oh. game, so there are no third dimension, <laughs> I'm afraid. Wait, there well, is no back? There's a back. Okay. It's worth a shot. We'll just kind of like move out a ways, do a detour so they don't see us coming, and then we'll take a look, see on the back, see if there's anything that looks any weird or special or anything. Just real quick, uh, see if there's anything there without probing too hard so we're not noticed, hopefully. Yeah. I think we've been noticed. I, yeah, I but can, on the front. I'll use oh. my hideout ability. <laughs> hideout ability. Do you have a physical can... hideout? He does. <laughs> he has a hideout somewhere. Can we hide out in relevant. the bar? <laughs> oh. It's not how that skill works. I am just following Raukau to take the roundabout route to get to the back. Let's do it. Sorry. <laughs> Let's do this. Walking music. Walking music. All right, everybody, roll alertness covert. Do I have? Uh, I'm real good at this. All right. I roll a one. Yeah. Two. You roll a one. I don't have covert. I do have. Excellent. Alertness. So you critically fail. Oh, no. Crap. What are the other? What are What are the other rolls that we have? Seven. Eight. Two. <laughs> He's critically Wait. Wait, Ralph, you don't. Do you, you have two. You rolled a two. Yeah, I rolled a two. Do you yeah. have covert? Nope. I just have alertness. Okay, and you rolled a two because you did not critically fail. Two is often a critically fail if you roll two ones. Oh, okay, no, I rolled a single dice and I got two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well then. Tell. As you're walking and sneaking about, and then Ralph is sort of. Bumping into trash cans all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Your gun accidentally. You don't have a gun, do you? Crap, no. Oh, you can't fire do that. flower. All right. No. Um, our fire flower goes off. No. 
you manage to step on a gun and it goes off and explodes. <laughs> and it what? And it and it also explodes. Takes six damage. Ouch. Okay. Jesus Christ. Poor Caesar's just. Did you just shoot yourself in the foot <laughs> by stepping on a gun? <laughs> a gun called Brutus. <laughs> And you hear the bouncers are starting to run down this alleyway. Okay, I am writhing on the ground in pain. Bang uh, him! Oh, okay. <laughs> is, there, is there a random trash can I can use as my hideout ability? No, you have your hideout is a physical place. Dang it. it well, the, I mean, the, a trash can is pretty physical. No, the hideout trait means that you have a spot somewhere in the city that you can go to to hide out sometimes. It's the trash can is my hideout. No. <laughs> okay, well, well, bye. See you later. <laughs> so you're running away? No, I have to defend his honor. Ugh. Come on. Dito, get up, please. I mean, Wait, so you're staying? Yes, I have a plot point I'm saying, too, and I'm reaching down. Like I'm, I see that he's on, in pain on, on the ground, so I know I, flo- I find I float him away. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. All right, so the three of you. Sorry, Rob. Right. I keep I mean, interrupting I'm, you. <laughs> I'm trying to get up, but I'm expecting I'm not going to succeed. All right, well, I mean, are you below zero? No, I'm at five left. Oh, okay. So while the bouncers are distracted with that, Great diversion, guys. I'm going to go in through the front door. Sweet. Well, we did it. <laughs> All right. Well, let me... Um, I have special boot rules for flying. So you can't fly above people, above human height, unless you roll a flying test. Okay. But I'm, like, not flying, <laughs> flying. I'm Going walking, flying. Oh, in that case, if you want to sneak past and sort of hide... Roll an alertness covert check. Okay. Because they'll run. You can hide somewhere and they'll run past you. Oh, heck yeah. I got a 10. Woo-woo. Spend the plot point. You need an 11. Oh, uh, do it. Do it. Do it. Do, do it. it. Do it for the plot. <laughs> All right. You got it. They run right by you. And you so wander funny. on out. And can I go through the front door now? Yeah. This is all according to plan, obviously. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go inside and see what's up. Still wearing your uniform, though. Right? No, can I or shed my uniform? Can you find a change of clothes? I'm a boo. They don't need clothes. That's true. <laughs> okay, so what do I need to ambush a commuter without getting <laughs> caught and to take their clothing? Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 Well, there's multiple ways that you can do this. You can either, you know, hold them up and demand them, or you can knock them out. It depends. What do you think your character would be best doing? Talk, sweet-talking them? Oh, jeez. Sweet-talking them into making them give you your fair clothes. Oh, because I'm a boo and, like, I'm small, I'm going to sweet-talk a kid be like, Hey, kid, do you want a cool police uniform? And be like, yeah. And I'll get close. For those children. life. <laughs> I'm talking about so people they're on the like, sidewalk. Hey, Johnny, let's go down to this bar. I didn't say there were good single moms. <laughs> I bet today you'll see someone doing shots off of someone else's body. It'd be a good lesson about economics. He's, it's, it's, he learns early for college. I'm talking about people on like the sidewalk, though. <laughs> oh, so you're going to go a little bit afar. No, really? Really? Hmm? Like, there's not a sidewalk, like, right in front of it? Well, there is, but, like, you're, it's nighttime, you're gonna have to go a little bit far, oh. unless you want to spend plot points to, to spawn a child. Plot. Plot. <laughs> I, are you making an executive decision that, in this universe, booze always wear clothes, and it's, like, weird for yes. them not to? I mean, at some point... <laughs> this isn't... 
All right. <laughs> it's, it's, well, it's I mean, we're not gonna. We can't really ghost. stick to the cannon because if we did, you'd say I jump on him, and then that, that would right. be a valid response. Yeah. I just um, spend my time on the you know uh, the thing that spins around. <laughs> <laughs> That's your aerobics exercise. Can I just like shed my hat? And hope they don't notice oh, your oh. everything. Yeah, you're you're in a police uniform. Do you have a badge? Just take off the badge. You have badges. It's can it's I like manipulate uniform. my police uniform? Um, in yes. very small ways. <laughs> but it takes some, <laughs> it takes some time. Yes. <laughs> it takes some time, and do you have craft? Uh uh-uh. uh Then you can try. I'm gonna try. It would be a um. That would be a willpower craft check. Or no, oh, an intelligence craft. Oh, intelligence? Okay. I want to see all this as a Dang cartoon. It. Okay. It's the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm glad she's no longer trying to sweet-talk the clothes off a child. <laughs> Instead, he got a cop that's trying to modify <laughs> I got a nine. You got a nine? Yeah, I got if a nine. If you spend two plot points, you can pull it off. Not worth it. <laughs> You have cardboard, you can just write on your shirt. <laughs> I'd be, I'm going to become Pandemona, just <laughs> get in a box. So your uniform has been somewhat modified, but it's not perfect. It doesn't look completely civilian. Okay, that's fine. Fortunately for you, yes, the gate is open, and you walk right in, or you float right in. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the outside... Well then, uh... <laughs> Captain, what do we do? Well, Four bouncers have run up. And they said, what the hell's going on here? Oh, well. Oh, hey, uh, well, you know, just, um, our, uh, officer here stepped on a gun and it blew up. I know, like, it's crazy. <laughs> it blew up. It blew up. It never happened before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going. I thought we, oh, well, well, I thought well, we like told a... you guys to get the hell out of here. What are you doing back here? Huh. You're the captain. They turned to you now, pal. You're the captain here. What do they want? What are you doing here? Yeah, captain, tell them. Tell them why we're here. Oh, man. See, because he can't lie. <laughs> but he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> so he's just kind of like swim, not really saying anything. Just breathe fire. Stall. Stall. <laughs> well, they're waiting. Yeah, I know. And, uh... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to speak, but it's just like sounding... <laughs> nothing, like, is coming out at all. I'm trying so to he call. looks at, um... He looks at Caesar, and he says, What the hell is going on here? Maybe one of you can tell me. I can't hmm. speak. I'm in pain. I'm just crawling. So the gun is exploded. It's no more, right? Well, no, the remnants are there. You could throw it at them if you wanted. Intimidation. You could try to intimidate the giant bouncers. Hmm. You could try to convince them to take their clothes off, too, if you wanted. Do it. Then pretend to be them. Do it. Do you want to pretend to be a cop? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to get a cool cop uniform? <laughs> hey there, big guy. I know you've always wanted to try to be a cop. <laughs> All right, how far away have I crawled by now? <laughs> They're stopping I, you. Been... They, they sort of put your, oh. their feet down to stop you from crawling away. Oh. All right, I'm going to do that second wind thing. How does okay. that work? You roll your body or your willpower, and you recover that many points. All right. Uh, I roll a d10 for my willpower, and that is eight. And so right. that... Puts me back up to uh, 13 health. All right. And I'm 
I'm assuming that also means that I I have a bit more physical ability back, and I'm going to uh, just try and run past them and maybe distract them to let my friends escape. <laughs> so I'm just going to try and hop up and run past them. All right. Go ahead and roll that Girl. agility at a minus two because there's four of them there. Minus All right, that steps. agility dodge thing. All yeah. right, so my agility is 12, my dodge is 8 minus 2, so that's 6. No, no it's, it's four. 4. because... All right, that is... I... Oh, the no. chances of you succeeding are very... Did you crit fail? Rip. I, no, I, I, I rolled a 3. I got a 2 and a 1, but... <laughs> ah, well, I have... well, that's one fail. Rolling a 2 on a d12 is so painful. All well, right. 1 catches you... Two catches you. Three catches you. Four and catches the captain you. Run off. Five trips oh. over you. Actually, no. I have to defend his honor. So now you're being held. Oh, no. All right. Well, they're basically like stockpiling up all over you. <laughs> it's dogpile. So my attempt to distract them worked. <laughs> 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 now look, I want, a, I want an explanation. I want you guys to go away. I never want to see you people here again. Sounds good. Well, <laughs> I, I, I want to point out that this alley is a dump, and uh, I'm going to call the. Uh, I am not a dump, guys. and I am so, extremely offended. Excuse me. Yeah, you know it, brother. Mm, as, <laughs> brother, <laughs> as as they are distracted with Caesar, man. Thanks, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> After this n- beautiful insult of an uh, intimidation, I start to <laughs> run for it with my fast on my feet to. How's that do again? Base feet plus five feet. Yeah. Okay. You still have to go across their grapple check, Will. Because you're oh, running past them. But I'm so a roll blue, agility dodge. Agility dodge. What's the specialty for dodge? It's normally athletics, but if you don't have that, it's it's unarmed combat. Unarmed. Okay, cool. Let me. Are you sure you want to try this? Only two of them are going to try and check you. Uh, ten. Okay, you might have a chance. Nope. One catch is you. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> the other one does not. So they said. So now that they have both two, both of your people. Hell, what are you going to do? Everyone's on the ground. Just run for it. Yeah, so now that it's by then, you know, I just kind of shook it off. I'm like, okay, fine. You know what? Let him go. We won't come back. We learned our lesson. It was silly. It's cool. <laughs> Tell us why you're here. Help and me. promise to never come again. Well, you know, we saw the front of the building. We just wanted to see how the back looked like. A bunch of cops see, show. See, see. Although, wait, Raukau, you're honest to a fault. Yes. But we were seeing what the back looked like. Yeah, that's literally why we went here. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> you're, you're right. You're, oh. Hey, we're sometimes. New. So a bunch of cops show up. Much nicer than the front. Pardon? And they want to see what the back of our building looks like. Is what you're saying. Well, Yeah. You, what? you don't have to tell me why you're here. I don't care. Give me your names. I croak out Caesar. <laughs> All right, hey, I'm Caesar. A I'm a... Should I give him my real name that no one knows, or my fake name that everyone knows? Do you have a fake, a real name? Yeah, I'm Jonathan, aka Jakey Boy. Oh. Hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll give out a Jonathan, because, you know, there has to be, like, seven Jonathans in the city or something. At least seven. All right. At least seven. And what are you saying now, Cal? <laughs> well, I'm without a trace of irony or anything in my voice. Just, uh, uh, my name is uh, Captain Jumbo Rescow, and, uh, <laughs> yeah. They let you all go, and they Meanwhile. say, don't worry. We'll find out why you came here. Even if you won't tell us. 
Well, pleasure doing business with you, Captain Rescal. Captain Jumbo Rescal. Get it right, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> just and, you know, I'm all, man. Sounds good. And uh, I know once my two uh, cop guys are released, uh, we would head out. We would uh, head back. All right. So meanwhile, in the bar. One moment. Should I roll okay. alertness to know if I realize Belina isn't there with us? No, you realize. She's okay. part of your crew. Oh, that's true. All right, Just fair enough. Case. So you're you're in the bar now. What do you do? It's a bar. You see a bunch of people all around. It's kind of a seedy establishment. You can tell there's not. A lot of things going on here that are on the up and up. You see some people doing drugs, some people doing shots off of one another, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Your typical sort of mushroom kingdom establishment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bunch of kids. <laughs> Bunch of kids giving their clothes to cops. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth a shot. <laughs> <laughs> It was worth a ding dang diddly shot, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. Right now, what you are you in the bar. In the She's bar. asking you what you do. What I'm gonna do? Um, go up to the bartender. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go up to him, see what he says. Says, what you having? Um, Blue Dolphin on the rocks. Which is actually just That'll water be... with ice. Oh, is it really? <laughs> yeah. He gives you it's... a water with ice. <laughs> okay. Well, that was unproductive. He's a knowledgeable bartender. He knows what that is. <laughs> it's a virgin blue dolphin on the rocks. It's literally water with ice. Um, I'm trying to think of what to do in here. Is it, like, clear, like, who's super sketchy kingpin honcho? Well, roll an alertness perception. Okay. Where's my thing? Um, seven and four. That's eleven. So, okay, you see a, a, a guy, a Koopa, who is not a Hammer Brother, but you can tell he's dressed up like a Hammer Brother. Uh-huh. And he is... Surrounded by like five or six other Koopas. And he's sort of living the high life. He's clearly the their leader. Mm hmm. I'm gonna approach him. Or, like, is there a spare chair on the side of the table with him? Because I'm gonna like turn that chair around and like sit like in it all cool. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> no, actually, that you spend, you, if you spend one clock point, there is. What? Uh, for the plot. No. I'm not going to spend a plot point to look cool. Why not? <laughs> That's exactly what one plot point is for. <laughs> no, it's... Uh, no. <laughs> I'm just going to go up to him. All right, I'm going to spend a plot point <laughs> for her having a chair there. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's acceptable. You can spend a plot All point right. to spawn a chair. <laughs> <laughs> so you glide up, turn the chair around, and sort of settle down in the chair like a boo does. <laughs> <laughs> and there the air looks over at you and he says, Well, what have we got here? You looking for a good time? Oh, oh man. Do I have like a bow in Never my Never been with like a boo before. Is it like apparent that I'm a girl boo? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Lady. <laughs> Little boobo. Um, alright. Cut the talk. I'm looking for information. <laughs> well, I'm looking for information on you. Why? Oh, man. Whoa, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is more you <laughs> just, you know, vicariously flirting with me. <laughs> <laughs> that, um, that flirting thing that I do all the time with people. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think. Um <sighs> Listen, do you know who I am? Well, 
I do happen to know who you are. Do you know who I am? Should I roll for... Well, roll sense motive. He says, of course I know who you are. Seven. Russo Volopius, I'm connected with everyone. Hmm. You can tell he's posturing. He has no idea who you are. <laughs> Great. I know everyone in town. I own this town. This guy's full of crap. Am I willing to exploit myself for the sake of Mushroom Kingdom justice? <laughs> that sentence that really should never have been spoken. Quote of the day. I'm going to put that in my signature. Um, what's it going to take to get some information out of you? <laughs> That's very straightforward. I apologize. Straight to the point, huh? Well... What do you want to know? Wait, 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 wait. I have interrogation technique. You're not interrogating him. <laughs> I'm going to be. Flash a light. If you're going to tie him to a chair or something. Oh, so it has to be like formal interrogation. <laughs> yes. Okay. You have to be in a situation where you're in control to be interrogating someone as opposed to. Know. Interrogation technique is like the best way to cut off his ears and stuff. It's Chinese water torture. Um. So, I'm looking for some information here. Can you help me out? You know, I don't know. Can you help me out? Depends on what you're looking for. You know what I'm looking for. I don't, though. This guy is so beat around the bush. <sighs> I'm impl- I think he's implying he's looking for coitus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just double checking. <laughs> we, you, we are. We are. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 What is a little? What's a little thing like you? Anyway. Here I am offering you bed with the leader of the Graveyard Pirates, the greatest gang in the history of the Mushroom Kingdom. And you're talking about information? What else could you want besides that? A this foot is something that you'll be able to tell your children about. <laughs> oh, the children that I have with him. Well, <laughs> yes. I'm not just looking for information. I'm looking for a foot in the door. And I'm not looking for... <laughs> I'm trying to think of a cool way to uh, say it. And I'm not looking to do the bedtime tango. <laughs> <laughs> The bedtime tango. I spend five plot points for the bedtime tango. <laughs> Actually, wait. Do I do I get anything if I have sex with this guy? Wow. <laughs> I never thought I would say that in my life. <laughs> At least not this early. I wasn't expecting that either. I mean, you can go down that road if you want. Roll agility plus strength. Oh, no, you, you have to do stamina. <laughs> oh, stand, stand, yeah. And by the way, after every single thing that he says, all of his little, little you know, goonies are cheering him on. Like, yeah, boss. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do the do. I'm not going to do the frickle frack. Um. I'm not looking for sex. I'm looking for information and a foot in the door. And to offer other What the hell do you want? What can you offer me? I can offer you... Wait, what can I offer him? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, by the way, roll knowledge information, and if you have information gangs or criminal culture... Nah. Roll knowledge information anyway. You get a plus... A bonus of plus two in this instance. So you basically you step up the die one one more. Then I got a seven. Okay. You've never heard of this guy or his gang, the Graveyard Pirates. <laughs> which you think is a little bit strange. Mm. I can offer you protection. <laughs> Why would we need protection? He pulls out, he, he reaches into his pocket and he pulls out a handful of fire flowers. 
You see this? This is why we don't need protection. Put some back in. <laughs> I would pull out my badge, but that would be so lame. <laughs> That would be you dying. <laughs> that would be dangerous. Mean the yes. end of Bulina. <laughs> Hold on, Horikawa. I gotta, I gotta wait for. You don't have to wait. I know. I I messaged oh, you. Oh, you showed me. <laughs> hmm. Huh. 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 This is this is like kind of hard to do when it's like happening behind closed doors. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Sorry, anyone who's been in a D and D session with private knowledge. Yeah, knows it's it it's cool. It happens. Mm. At least in chat, it's a lot easier and less awkward. Oh yeah, and sneaking out of the room. Yeah. <laughs> or banishing people to the other room or whatever. Oiko, do I have anything in my inventory whatsoever, like, in terms of, like, maybe a locket or something like that? Anything that would be reasonable for you to bring along. So if you're going to say, you know, I bring this thing with me all the time, then from now on, you are bringing it with you. Yeah. Is that reasonable, you think? Yeah, but from now on, you're carrying that with you. Rad. Oh, that's that's gonna bite me in the ass later. But okay. The good news is that all three of us other self might not survive the night. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now I think we can return it slightly to voice, just to make it somewhat more entertaining for listeners. Mm -hmm. So he goes. All right, look, I didn't mean anything before. Just what do you want from me, okay? What do you want? Anything you want. <laughs> Cheers. All I want is some information. I didn't mean any disrespect before. Mm -hmm. So make that clear. <laughs> what information do you want? Wow. I heard about a delivery going on. Any yeah, there's a new shipment coming in tomorrow. My supplier. Who's your supplier? Um, let me see. Who is the supplier? Uh, now, is this guy, like, linked to the guy we're originally uh, hearing about? This is the guy, what? I think. This is the guy. Oh, this is the guy. Oh, oh, so not yeah. at the, okay. Look, I buy my stuff. From this woman named this this shy gal <laughs> named Cormia. Okay, I meet her at this warehouse. I'm gonna meet her up tomorrow, and then buy some goods before she ships them on elsewhere. That, that's what I got. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you for your time. Wow. You don't want to ask where the where the shipment is or anything like oh, that? Oh, I thought that was implied that I would know that. But oh, no, yeah. no, he tells you, yeah. Okay. It's a warehouse down in 4th Sector at this address, and he gives you the location. Okay. I'm going to meet her there tomorrow at 6 p.m., all right? All right. I can promise you no trouble will come of you. Thank you. Just... Please go away. Keep away, all right? Please. I don't want any trouble. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to leave at that point. All right, meanwhile. <laughs> uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as you guys are being escorted off the premises, you see everyone will learn his perception, except for, obviously, the leader or whatever. Uh, seven? Eight. 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 You guys are making this real hard on me. <laughs> well, Sorry. Alertness, that, and that. Sorry, there's a baby in the background. Steal its Eight. clothes. Eight? None of you know this. The Julia, most I you can roll. possibly roll is ten. So. I'm sorry? You roll alertness perception. Oh, okay. I got a ten. 
you very easily see Val Cow and the rest of them being oh. escorted off the premises. <laughs> None of them gonna, see you. I'm gonna chuckle about that, but follow slightly behind without being noticed, I guess. Roll a cover check. Wait, okay. are they being are they being like escorted away or they're being escorted mm-hmm. away, yeah. Yeah, you want to stay in the follow. shadows, right? Wait, what? Did you want to sneak behind them, or did you just want to follow them? I just want to follow them. Okay, never mind. She's just saying she doesn't draw attention to herself or tell us that she's there. She just follows us. Yeah. Well, after some time, at least one of you notices that she's following you. Mm-hmm. All Do right. Do you have the highest alert- alertness? Uh... My alertness is four and my perception is six, so I'm not that capable there. Four. Yeah, my stats are the same. Four for alertness, oh. six for perception. Uh, mine are eight alertness and. Six All right, you seven. see, you end up seeing Boobina following you eventually. Okay. Hey, boo power. Boop boop. Do you point? Start, do you point it out? No, keep it to myself. Okay, eventually Ralph now sees them. You're seeing the <laughs> okay. So, are Good we still you, escorted? Are we just, like, on our own, or what? You're I, on I your think own at this, this point, point, we're just... Oh. Well, like, if I notice her, yeah. Well, like, wait said, hey, oh, finally, there you are, uh, Belina. Yay. Where well, are you? Where were you all this time? Uh, trying to work out some information. Um, turns out we gotta meet, we gotta, he said he was meeting her at this warehouse, right? Wait, yeah. you saw you saw Russo? I did. Uh. So how did you get him to tell you anything? Um, you know, I just flashed my badge. He just kind of... He knew that we weren't just, you know, like foot cops or anything, so... Sweet. yeah. Uh, one moment. Wow. Yeah. One moment. Before you move on, one, one second, something happens. She's got to roll some dice. Yeah. 